Hello, I'm Lena Wynn, and here is your CBS On The Go update. We begin with your CBS 2 travel forecast. Here's meteorologist Amber Lee. Amber. Hi, Lena. Here's a look. We do have a lot of delays right now. If you're flying out of LAX and you're headed to San Francisco, also toward the East Coast, Boston, New York, and also Atlanta, double check with your airlines. And the reason for that is because we do have a lot of severe weather starting to break out, especially toward the eastern seaboard and also through the Rockies and the southwest as also that all that monsoonal moisture continues to push through even to us here in Southern California. We are looking at some very light rain, some scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms through at least tomorrow and then drier air moving in by the end of the week. Thanks, Amber. A subway construction project in Los Angeles is unearthing the prehistoric side of Southern California. Carter Evans went underneath the city to see how building LA's future is shedding new light on its past. Underneath one of the busiest parts of the city, one of the largest subway projects in the country is under construction. It was here workers digging the new line literally made a mammoth discovery. So this is the area where the first find was made? Yes, about right here, but about 20 feet above our heads. Paleontologist Dr. Ashley Ledger oversees a team which works alongside construction crews searching for fossils. Their discoveries began with bones of Colombian mammoths who roamed here in herds during the Ice Age. First came this three-foot section of tusk that's at least 11,000 years old. Then this nearly complete skull emerged, a rare find. So what does it mean that this one's pretty much intact? It's a dream come true for a paleontologist. This is the, the bucket list you always want to find at some point in your career, and then it's one of the first things we found here. This is probably the best gig in town for a paleontologist. Dave Sotero is with with LA Metro, which hired the experts who dug up the past. It's not every day you have a subway project going through a rich fossil area, so it's tremendously exciting for everybody on the project. So this is a vertebrae here? This is a vertebrae from a bison. Over the next few weeks, the tunnel will close in on an ancient area known as the La Brea Tar Pits, about a mile away. Ledger expects the fossil finds will increase dramatically in that area. Just a couple of inches of tar became a sticky death trap for the massive mammals that roamed here tens of thousands of years ago. When most people think of Los Angeles, they think of Hollywood, Beverly Hills. What do you think of? You know, I think of what's under all of that. Under everyone's feet is this rich history that everybody misses. So we get to open up people's eyes, open up their imagination, and bring the past to life. Prehistoric black ooze still seeps from the ground around the museum, which contains the world's largest collection of Ice Age fossils. Here at the museum, all of these things come to life. They stand up in front of you. They kind of speak to that curiosity that we're all born with. You're going to be digging through that stuff that is bubbling up through the ground right around here. Yes, we're going to be sticky and dirty and we're going to love every second of it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is behind the scenes. This is where the magic happens and where the researchers come. Almost every bone ever found near the tar pits is kept here, cataloged for further research. They help Ledger identify one of her newest finds. So we can confirm that it is a horse astragalus or the ankle bone. Back in the tunnel, more clues about the ancient past keep turning up. A leg bone from an extinct camel and a tooth from a mastodon. But they were found just right over behind where we're standing. I mean, it's, it, it, it seems like it's just a treasure trove under here. It absolutely is. We've got mammoths and mastodons from one end. We're finding horses over here. It's been really fun. And according to Ledger, the best is yet to come. In the next few weeks, she hopes to add more predators like the saber-toothed cat to her finds. If you're keeping score, we have found two mammoths, a mastodon, a camel, a bison, a horse, and a turtle. And you're just getting started. We're just getting started. And now here's your CBS on the go sports. Back problems of sideline Dodgers ace Clayton Kershaw again. The team has put him on the disabled list. Kershaw left Sunday's game after just two innings due to tightness in his lower back. The Dodgers will officially determine how long he'll be sidelined after he visits with the team's back specialist but Kershaw is expected to be out four to six weeks. The Dodgers are 19-2 and two in games Kershaw has started this season. Immediately following CBS 2 News at 11 tonight, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Guests include actor Paul Bettany. And right after Colbert, watch The Late Late Show with James Corden. His guests include actor Mark Hamill and actress Anna Faris. Watch Corden and Colbert right after CBS 2 News at 11. And that's your CBS On The Go update. Remember, we're always on at cbsla.com. And join us every night for CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11.